Today I will show you how to create smoke trails or jet airplane trails in the sky. So you can use them to create any kind of text in the sky out of those trails or any kind of shape that you can imagine. So let's go! Hey guys, it's Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's the fun begin. Right guys, today we'll start with this beautiful sky image, but without the sky. Actually, I will just go here and create new solid color adjustment layer and choose some bluish color for the sky. And don't worry about real sky color because it can vary a lot. And this is just for this example. So now I will create a new empty layer and really quickly create smoke trails or jet airplane trails like this and that's it guys as you can see really fast and easy and yeah i know you're thrilled about that but this will not work i will just delete this and for this to work we need to create a custom smoke or custom cloud brush and actually i already have a tutorial about that you can find it right here how to create a custom smoke brush to create a realistic smoke but today i will go through those exactly same steps a little bit faster and create a brush that will emulate those uh, smoke trails or jet trails. So let's do it. Right guys, to create that custom smoke or custom cloud brush, I will use a photo of this lonely cloud in the sky. And what I need to do first is to make extraction only of this cloud. And if you watch my previous tutorial about how to select anything in Photoshop, you know that you can use plenty of different tools, but I will use channels for that. I will go here to channels and find most contrasty one. And in this case, this is the red one. I will duplicate it, right? And now I will load levels with control or command L and just move the blacks to be completely black. Move those dark actually tones to be completely black. And I will not mess too much with the whites because if I make this completely white like this, then this will be the shape of my brush. But I actually want to have some variation in a brush uh, transparency. So everything that is not completely white will be transparent and everything that is completely black will be 100% transparent, all right? And here I will just mess a little bit, make highlights a little bit brighter and that's it. Now I can go and load this as a selection by pressing Control Command key and click on that red channel, go back, to my layer and just create a mask out of that or just press Ctrl or Command J to extract this, as you can see, on separate layer. And I can just, for your sake, to, to see what's going on here, I can create a new layer and fill it with a black. And then I will go here and desaturate this cloud with Shift Ctrl U or Shift Command U on a Mac because I don't need a color version of it. And now I will create a layer mask, use a black brush, and I like to use really soft brush, 100% opacity, and just erase some edges here to make those edges a little bit softer because it will work a little bit better, right? Just to soften those edges a little bit. And then I will go choose 30% opacity or so and even softer it a little bit more. And that's how this looks right now, All right? I will right click on the mask and say apply layer mask because I don't need it anymore and I want to apply it to have that shape that I created. Then just a personal preference, I want to change the shape of this cloud a little bit more. If I, for example, if I choose the narrow cloud, maybe I don't need to change the shape, but here I just want to change, change the shape, shape a little bit more. I will go to edit and then Puppet Warp. And if you're not familiar with the Puppet Warp, you can find and watch my tutorial about that right here. Right, I will go expand this a little bit more and just add a few points and move them to reshape this. I don't want this message and I want to reshape this cloud like, like this, right? This is guys a personal preference, nothing fancy, nothing special, but something like this, I think it will be much better, right? And I will press okay. And that's it. I have from this to this really quickly and really easily. Right, the next step is to create a brush out of this cloud shape. So to do that, we need to go here to edit and define brush preset. But before we do that, please make sure that your cloud is black and your background is white. So I will, or 
you don't need background at all. So I will just remove that black background and invert the cloud color with control or command I. And that's it. I have a black cloud and I can use white background, invert that too, or I don't need background at all. All right. And I will go now to edit and define brush preset and name this cloud number five, because this is fifth cloud that I made. And now if I create, if I go back to my document and create new empty layer, I have this cloud, as you can see, 100% opacity. I have this cloud as a brush. But if I paint with this, again, nothing special, nothing fancy like I did at the first, in the first example, it's basically the same. But now we will change the properties of this brush and we will make it more uh, like that jet trails or uh, smoke trails. To do that, just press F5 on the keyboard and go to brush settings. First thing that I like to do is go to shape dynamics and go with the size jitter all the way up so that I will have different, I will have variation in the size, all right? That's first thing. Second thing that I like to do here is to go with the angle all the way up so that I have variation in the angle too, right? As you can see, guys, this is already much better, but we need to go a few more steps. Then go to scattering and just scatter a little bit around 50 or 60%. That depends of the brush uh, size and the shape and, and so on and so on. But as you can see, this is already better. I'll make it smaller and this is really nice. Now I will go to transfer and use opacity jitter and I will put it something around 30 or so percent. And that's, as you can see, much better. If you're using a pen and a tablet as I'm using right now, you can control the shape or actually this opacity jitter with all those settings. You can control it with the pen pressure. So if you press harder, it will be more opaque. If you press softer, it will be more transparent and so on and so on. Or you can control it with uh, maybe pen tilt, like I like to do in this example, you will see why. And that's it. If I tilt my pen like this, if I tilt it, I will have more transparent. If I put it straight forward, perpendicular, perpendicular to the tablet, strange word, right? I will have more opaque stroke and that's it, right guys? And I will go to shape dynamics and control my size jitter with the pen pressure. And that's great. Now I can make, if I press really, really softly, I can have tiny trails. If I press harder, I will have bigger and wider trails. And with that, I can control that uh, perspective, actually the, the depth or three dimensionality of those trails. If the plane is going from the camera towards the background there and so on and so on. Okay. If you don't have pen and a tablet, don't worry about that. You can still use your mouse to create those smoke trails or jet trails, but without that slightly variations in size and transparency. So let's go back into Photoshop and let's create some trails. Right, guys, now let's go and grab a photo of this airplane. And as you can see, I already extracted it out of the background. And for that, I use just the magic one tool. So now I will copy it and go back here and paste it on our document, make it smaller with control command T and by holding shift, I will make it smaller, constraining the proportions. So I will move it somewhere here. Why not press enter? And that's it. Now our airplane is ready to receive that smoke trail effect. Let's first rename those layers. This is airplane. All right. And this will be trails. Okay. And I will move the trails above the airplane. And now I will use previously prepared custom smoke brush or cloud brush. And I will start drawing those trails. As you can see, I can just go like that. And we have that great effect trails from the airplane, or we can be even more creative to make something like this, like so like this airplane made some kind of loop and so on and so on. You can basically do whatever you want, just be creative and have fun with those trails. Now I will show you how to create a text out of those smoke trails or jet trails. So let's do it. All right, let's hide the trails and the plane and just go and use text tool. I will type something very, very creative and that will be, let's make it bigger, trails. <laughs> this is really creative. All right, and I will make it a little bit bigger like this and press. Okay, now we need to convert 
these uh, letters into a path. So to do that, I will just uh, right click on the trails layer, on the text layer here and go here and say uh, create work path. And that's it. Now we have a path. We can hide this. We still have that path. As you can see, maybe now you can see it better. Right. The next step is to choose a brush size. And of course, the brush. We will choose that smoke brush and we will reduce the size. So I will press B on the keyboard for brush, create a new layer to draw on it, as you can see. And I will make some slight changes to brush properties because I'm using a pen pressure. I will just go press F5 and go off with the control of shape dynamics and off with the control of transfer here. That's great. And that's it. That's the only adjustment I want to make. And I will make the brush a little bit smaller. Let me see. Maybe this is still too big. It's too big, maybe even smaller like this. Let me see. Yeah, this can work. Maybe just slight smaller. OK, and now when I prepared my brush size and shape and everything, I will go back to pen tool, right click and go to stroke path and just choose from all those tools brush and press OK. And that's it. We need to delete the path if we want by pressing delete on the keyboard and you can see really, really nice trails. Now you can be a lot creative. Maybe you want to draw more smoke like it's everything is connected or you can just use a smudge tool, right? And just smudge this, make it bigger and do like, like it's on the wind. I don't know, do whatever you want. You can really, really be creative with this. Or if you want to create some kind of shape out of those trails, you can do that by using a shape tool. If you're not familiar with the shape tool, you can find my tutorial about that right here. Check it out. And I will really quickly show you how you can use that. Let's just hide this trail text, create a new layer and just go and find the shape tool or press U on a keyboard, press and hold and choose custom shape tool. And here at the top, you can choose any of those custom shape tools that are predefined with the Photoshop or you can create your own by using a pen tool. All right, I will choose maybe, let me see, let's use a fish on the sky, why not? And make sure that here, this is not set on a shape, but it's set on a path, so otherwise it won't work. All right, I will press and hold shift and draw a fish. Maybe you cannot see the fish right now because it's the blue color, similar like the sky, but now you can see it. And now this is exactly the same procedure like with the text. Press. P on a keyboard, actually before that, go to brush and see the brush size. That's great. Press P on a keyboard, right click and stroke pad. And just choose the brush, press OK. And that's it. I can now go and delete the pad if I want. And I have a fish on the sky. Or you can use any kind of different shape or draw your own. Maybe you want to create a new layer and just freehand using a brush. I want to delete this pad. Using a brush, you want to add some bubbles of a fish here or maybe an eye and anything that actually you want. You can play a lot with this. Of course, you can even change the color of that smoke or make color or brightness variation. So let me show you that and we are done for today. For this, we will use another photo of our airplane over the city. And as you can see, the plane is on a completely different layer. I just made this really quickly. And now let me show you. I'll create a new layer. This will be trails. OK, and put it just uh, below the plane. OK, and now I have same brush, white color and so on and so on. If I want to put some variation in the brightness of this uh, smoke to make it a little bit more real, I will press F5 and go here to color dynamics and play with the brightness jitter. If I put it a lot um, uh, like 75% or so, I will have some crazy variations. I don't like that. I like maybe some 8-10% just to have variation in brightness and maybe this is too much. And now it's better than completely white if you want to create something like smoke. But if you want to create some uh, like jet trails, you can use it white too. All right, another tip, I will just hide this. Another tip is to use a color for that smoke. So you can create something like, like this, maybe like those uh, planes that are uh, that has uh, colored smoke for some shows, I don't know. Or you can go again F5 and choose the color dynamics and go to saturation. So the color can be more or less saturated. That's another great thing. Or change the hue of that color. As you can see, if you want to have more 
colors in it, like rainbow color or something like that. Just play with this slider and you will have a lot of fun effect, right? And you can then create, I don't know, anything like this plane was making a loop or just went straight forward and or like it was like like this oh, it's easier like that and do whatever you want for those trails all right guys that's it for today i really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it if you have any questions at all regarding to this episode please leave them in the comments below i will be glad to answer them if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do it by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And of course, you will get some things in return. Subscribe if you're not already, ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes, and see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.